All right, Darlos Live coming to you from Southern California here. Happy Monday, 2.37 in the afternoon. It's December 17, 2018. All right, here's headline news. This is from uh, China Science. China and Russia band together. China and Russia band together on controversial heating experiments to modify the atmosphere, modify the weather. Now, I wanted to bring this article up because I've been saying this for years, that the governments around the earth, especially the U.S., uh, has have been... Uh, manipulating weather, causing earthquakes, shifting the tectonic plates on the earth, uh, microwaving the heavens and the earth. Yeah, this is really what they're talking about. When the headline says China and Russia band together with heating experiments, that's really microwaving, microwaving the earth, right? Uh, I've been saying this for years. I love this article because it does expose what the governments have, have been doing for a long time. Yeah. The countries are testing a technology for po possible military application. Oh, you think so? This has been going on for a long time. I'm glad it's coming out, though. So it's Chinese scientists involved in the project. Militaries have been in a race, have been, see, it's going on for a long time, to control the ionosphere, which is basically the ceiling of our atmosphere, which allows radio signals to bounce microwaves, to bounce long distances for communication. Oh, just for communication, it's nothing else. <laughs> Government shoot microwaves, pshh hits the top ceiling of the, our atmosphere, bounces it, bounces, bounces it down toward the earth again, or oceans, like a, like, a, like a pool ball, playing pool, boom, off the side, yeah. Anywhere on the earth to cause whatever effects they want to, want to cause. Like what? Earthquakes, volcanic activity, weather modification, even mind control. It says it in the article here. I'll read it here in a moment, yeah. Why? What's the big deal? Well, you know, I just happened to be reading through Matthew 24 in the Bible, and I came up with uh, end time events that go along with what they're doing. Like what? Matthew 24. How about verse 7? Nation will go to war against nation. We got to do it first. We got to control. Kingdom against kingdom. There will be famines. Oh. Weather modifications, microwaving, causing famine on the earth. Earthquakes. There will be famines and earthquakes. Uh oh. In many parts of the world. Bing, ionosphere, bing, ionosphere, bing. You see all these fish dying off by, you know, by the thousands of tons throughout the years. In lakes, in oceans, uh, whales, mammals in the ocean being uh, fried, burnt, you know, uh, found on the side. On the beach, well, I wonder how this dolphin got uh, cooked. <laughs> Matthew 24, 7. And then Matthew 24, 8 says, But all this is only the first of birth pains, with more to come. Hello. This is not natural earth events. This is not Mother Nature. This is uh, New World Order. Yeah. Which I thought was interesting, because Matthew 24, 7 and 8 talk about the HARP program, uh, which I'll get into here in a moment. Uh, now, this is a 2,000-year-old verse. This, these verses are 2,000 years old. But they're talking about end-time governmental uh, weather modifications, earthquake uh, uh, cause, earthquake causing machines, earthquake machines, uh, of course, famine causing machines, yeah, uh, and military weapons, yeah, war. Nation will go to war. So this is talking about uh, weather warfare, right in the Bible, and it's interesting because those two verses, the twenty-four, seven, and eight. Uh, come before uh, the building of the, looks like the building of the third Jewish temple, which is about to be rebuilt in Jerusalem. So we're right there uh, in these end time prophecies. Matthew 24, 15, When you therefore shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet, a prophetic book in the Old Testament, stand in the holy place. What holy place? The, the Jewish temple hasn't been around for 2,000 years. Exactly. In the same breath, they're talking about harp. And weather modification. And, that, and in verse 15, they're talking about the rebuilding of the of the Jewish temple in Jerusalem. When you see the abomination stand in the holy place. What holy place? That's talking about the Jewish temple. Obviously, it has to be rebuilt. So obviously, this is all at the same timing. Whoso reads this, let them understand. Tells the Jews to run. Verse 16, let them, which are in Judea, which is... The Jerusalem area surrounding. Flee into the mountains. Then verse 21. For then shall be great tribulation. The great tribulation period. The hell unleashed on the earth by the governments. 
by the New World Order that wants to set up their end game, their final New World Order, which is a one world demonic government and religion combined in one. And that you can't buy or sell unless you have their Mark of the Beast system in your right hand or on your forehead. Okay. Matthew 24, 21. For then shall be great tribulation. So this is all in the same chapter. Such was such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, nor shall ever be. Great tribulation, great hell unleashed on the earth. And this is by the New World Order. Now, of course, they uh, get judged by God during the Great Tribulation period. But don't ever, I said never, be ignorant of the fact that these famines, earthquakes, birth pains are governmental uh, experiments, warfare, technologies. Yep. Going on in the earth, yep. Well, and then the Great Tribulation is caused by the New World Order. The Great Hell unleashed on the Earth for about a 42-month period. Yeah. And by the way, did I say that a Barack Obama, Barack Hussein Obama is the Antichrist today? Yeah, yeah, but he is. Barack Hussein Obama is the Antichrist, who's going to be right in the center of all of this. And uh, Pope Francis is the false prophet. You have the Antichrist Obama, the Antichrist, Barack Hussein Obama, Bible prophecy being fulfilled right before our very eyes, and the, the Antichrist and the false prophet, Pope Francis are already on the earth doing their manipulations and work. Yeah. Obama got kicked out of the White House by Trump, which I think is very prophetic as well. Watch my Bible uh, video uh, on YouTube called Trump's Name in the Bible. Yeah, you can look at that in my Daryl Lawson uh, YouTube channel. Or you can go to my website, DarylLawson.com, and just click on the link. Yeah. All right, back to this article right here. I think it's very, very interesting. SCMP.com. All right. The countries are testing a technology for possible military application. Wow. So the Chinese scientists. Okay. Now, of course, militaries have been in race to control the ionosphere, which allows radio signals, a.k.a. microwaves, to bounce long distances for communication. Oh, just for communication. China and Russia have modified an important layer of the atmosphere above Europe, right? Because Russia is considered Europe. Yeah. Euro-Asia. So China and Russia have modified an important layer of the atmosphere above Europe, which is really, they're going to talk about a Russian uh, area, to test, a, to test a controversial technology, since it's already been existing, for possible military application, according to Chinese scientists involved in the project. Well, I, I, China and uh, Russia just want to protect themselves uh, from uh, Vatican-controlled USA technology. Yeah. A total of five experiments were carried out in June. Did you know that? This year. One on June 7th caused uh, physical disturbance over an area uh, 126,000 square, square kilometers, 49,000 square miles, or about the, uh, half the size of Britain. The modified zone microwave microwaving looming more than 310 miles high over Vasilsursk, small Russian town in Europe, Eastern Europe experienced an electrical spike with 10 times more negatively charged subatomic sub sub particles than the surrounding regions. So that was one experiment. Oh, wow. Well, they're just going to take over the world. No, actually, uh, this technology and this, uh, these facilities and other facilities have been around for a long time. They're just ramping it up now with more technology. And I believe protecting themselves, because Russia and China here know that the New World Order, the Vatican-controlled New World Order, wants them to bow their knee completely to their system. And so far, they have it. And they won't until the Great Tribulation period, by the way. Yeah. All right, so what does it say here? In another experiment on June 12th, the temperature uh, of thin ionized gas in a high altitude increased more than 100 degrees Celsius. Ooh, 212 degrees Fahrenheit because of the particle flux. Ew, can you say microwaving? Let's just microwave the sky. The particles or electrons were pumped into the sky by Sura. Sura, an atmospheric heating facility in Vasilsursk, built by the former Soviet Union's military during the Cold War. So this technology has been around for a long time. And it's not just the HARP facility, which is the same kind of microwaving that's done in Alaska. Russia has this uh, technology. And uh, other countries have this technology, yeah. A Sura base fired up, which is in the uh, Europe Russian town, an array of high powered antennas and injected a large amount of microwaves oh, into the high atmosphere. Oh, nothing can go wrong there. 
Don't forget, whatever comes up goes down and bounces off the, the ceiling, the ionosphere ceiling. The peak power of the high frequency, this is what it is, high frequency microwaves, could reach 260 megawatts, enough to light a small city. Boom! Zhang Heng One, a Chinese electromagnetic, electromagnetic surveillance satellite, collected the data from orbit with cutting edge sensors. Yeah, okay, so they're monitoring it as well. I'll skip down here. Um, here's the headline. Storm clouds continue to brew over Sky River rain-making project. Oh, side note. You don't think the governments can try to control the weather. They do, or they do control the weather in some aspects, yeah. And earthquakes. And volcanic activity. And, therefore, uh, even satellites. Because this, it, these, these experiments or this technology can also render satellites inoperable. Results were satisfactory. The research team reported in a paper published in the latest issue of the Chinese journal Earth and Planetary Physics. Calling it the detection of plasma disturbances. Oh, surprise, yeah. Provides evidence for likely success of future related experiments. But this is this is going on since the World War II. At least. Uh, I'm skipping down here. Let me see here. Uh The sun and cosmic rays produce a large amount of free-flying, positively charged atoms known as ions in, at altitudes from 75 kilometers to 1,000 in the Earth's upper atmosphere. The layer, it's called, or ionosphere, reflects radio, reflects radio waves like a mirror. So if you want to attack another country, bingo, bing, bonk. You want to attack uh, and cause earthquakes you know, in a certain area, bing, bing, bonk. Yeah, shoot the microwaves up, the microwaves come down. I, I didn't do anything. And the microwaves go into the oceans, into the earth, and of course they uh, trigger volcanic activity, earthquakes, weather modifications, and therefore famines. What about uh, satellite interruptions? What about other things? Yeah, I mean, I've seen, I've seen, uh, uh, I think the U.S. used using this technology against China in the past, yeah. Uh, yeah, all of a sudden, oh, look at this town in China just blows up. Oh, like an atomic bomb went off. I wonder what happened. <laughs> and you wonder why the media is always blasting Russia and China. Uh, well, I'll tell you why. It's because Russia and China, like I said, does not bow completely to the New World Order. They don't want to be under the Vatican's total control and do whatever they want 24-7. Yeah. Look, listen to this. The militaries have been in a race to control the ionosphere for decades. Again, it talks about the Sura base in Vasilsursk. is believed to be the world's first large-scale facility built for the, for that for the purpose. World War II. Uh, well, actually, um, up and fully running in 1981. It enabled Soviet scientists to manipulate the sky as an instrument for military operations. Oh, but we use it as submarine communication. Yeah, we just, you know, bounce the communications off. And, which, yeah, I understand that. But it can be used for a whole bunch of other things, yeah. It says changing the ionosphere over enemy territory can also disrupt or cut off their communication with satellites. Oh, nobody's going to use that. Why would they? Yeah, yeah of course they're going to use that. Of course they have used that. Now here it talks a little more in depth. The U.S. military learned from the Russian experiment and built a much larger facility to conduct similar tests. That's the one in Alaska, right? Yeah. It's called the it's HARP, the High Frequency Active Auroral Research Program, or HARP, H-A-A-R-P, not ARP. <laughs> was established in Gakona, Alaska in the 1990s. With funding from the U.S. military and the Defense Advanced Research Pro Projects Agency. Yeah, and who's ever heard of that? And there's agencies that know, well, the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency. I, you, you don't see that every day in the papers, yeah. The heart facility could generate a maximum of one gigawatt of power, nearly four times that of Sura, which is the Russian one. China is now building an even larger and more advanced facility in Sanya Hainan. With capability to manipulate the ionosphere over the entire South China Sea. Now, I think that's very interesting because you have the U.S. and China have been 
at each other's necks, throats, for a long time over control of the South China Sea. So China says, okay, we're going to build our own facility, which we're going to manipulate. Well, it'll, it'll be basically, it'll be able to control anywhere on the planet, but they're, they're wanting to use it probably to protect themselves over the South China Sea. According to an earlier report by South China Morning Post, listen to this, there have been concerns that such facilities could be used to modify weather. Oh, didn't I just say that? Modify weather, modify weather, you think that's true? <laughs> or just, uh, Daryl, stop that. Yeah, well, I'm just saying. Sure it is, modify weather. There have been concerns that such facilities could be used to, could be used, have been used to modify weather, to modify weather. And if you can modify weather, why not control countries and bring them into famine? You know, the Vatican and the New World Order, the Vatican controls the New World Order. The Vatican's controlled by the fallen angels of the demon spirit. Well, you know, they, they try to, you know, it's all about control. To try to control the markets, the stock markets, the price of oil, the price of gold. Commodities. Let's do, let's put GMOs, yeah, into this in, in society so we can control people's health. Yeah, and make them unhealthy. Yeah, let's 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 make vaccinations mandatory so we can control people all over the earth under the under the scam that it's for your betterment. You know, I did a video on uh, Friday, uh, two days ago, technically. Trump stops mandatory vaccinations. He sets up a uh, government agency called Conscience and Religious Freedom Division. Really, if uh, Trump, oh, watch my video. Go to uh, DarylLawson.com, click the link, or just type in Daryl Lawson YouTube video. Trump stops mandatory vaccinations. Yeah. 3,000 people have already watched that, almost. And uh, check out all the other videos. I have thousands of videos that I've done, yeah, on my YouTube channel and on my Facebook live show, yeah. Wow! Yeah, I love it. What do you love? Well, I love the fact that uh, Trump's in power. When he finds out, finds out about these things, he tries to stop them. Yeah. Ma, ma, ma! There have been concerns that such facilities could be used to modify weather. Well, they modify the food. GMO, genetically modified food. Yeah, let's all give everybody, tell everybody have to have tainted vaccinations. Yeah. Control, control the whole thing about the EU. And Brexit is all about control. It's all really about the people of the of uh, of Britain wanting to break free and have more control over their own lives instead of the EU. So it's about all, all about control. Uh, the New World Order basically controlled the White House until Trump got there. Now they're trying to manipulate him. He's not that easily manipulated because he is born again and spirit-filled. When you're a true born again spirit-filled Christian, Jesus, his spirit, his word get involved, and it's very difficult to manipulate a, a born again spirit-filled Christian, especially those that are praying for him, uh, especially when people are praying for him. So he's, he's moved by God's spirit rather than uh, bad advisors around him. That's why Trump has a high turnover rate in his administration because he keeps on finding out that a lot of the administration that he thought were great were just a bunch of Matrix heads. Matrix. <laughs> New World Order heads, right? Deep, uh, uh, deep State. There have been concerns that such facilities could be used to modify weather. Ah, listen to this. And even create natural disasters. Did I not say that? including hurricanes, cyclones, and earthquakes. Love this article. Yeah. Of course, people are going to deny it, but, you know, I think the big uh, tsunami, an earthquake and tsunami off the, uh, off the Japanese island, or the islands that basically broke. Well, how many people died in that uh, Japanese tsunami? <sighs> Too many. Uh, and, that, and then the, uh, the reactors, nuclear reactors, were all damaged. I don't like it. That was done on purpose. Yeah, if you look, if you just type in uh, on YouTube something or any kind of search engine, uh, Japanese finance minister talks about U.S. earthquake machine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Governments know it. Sure. Maybe not the average fluoride head on the street doesn't know it, but 
we should know it because we can now find this information. And we don't have to wait for the CIA uh, Vatican News every night. Oh, da, 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 uh, this is 5 o'clock news from the Vatican's CIA headquarters. Yeah. No, we can bypass that. Yeah. They call it fake news. Really? Yeah. They could create natural disasters, hurricanes, cyclones, and earthquakes. Remember back to Matthew 24? Jesus said that would happen in the last days. So we're right there. This technology exists. This technology has been used. And other countries are now fighting back. Uh, and they know about it. Right? They know about it. And they're trying to protect themselves from this. Hey, you want to shoot us with, with your microwaving? We'll shoot you back with our microwaves. Yeah. Well, that's what Matthew 24 says. Matthew 24, 7. Nation will go to war against nation. This is this is ionosphere weather warfare or microwave warfare. Yeah. Kingdom against kingdom. I'm just saying, Bob. I'm just saying. Listen to this. The ultra low frequency waves generated by these powerful facilities could even affect the operation of human brains. Well, well, well. Then you put uh, cell phone manipulation, and then you have just television programming, uh, media programming, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. Food contamination, uh, fluoride, which lowers your IQ in the water, uh, chemtrail spraying in the sky. They're trying to manipulate people. But I tell you, greater is God, the Holy Spirit, Jesus' Spirit, in us than heats the world. If you get born again, get spirit filled. Yeah. Anyways, I'm going to put this uh, article. Uh, and these scriptures underneath this video, I think it's I think it's I think it's amazing, uh, and I love the fact. Here's another headline on a, on a side byline: China launch uh, uh, or Chang. No, it's called Chang Four launches China's bid to be first on dark side of the moon. I love the fact that China and Russia are not bowing down and kissing the Vatican's boots <laughs> or ballerinas or ballerina slippers, whatever. <laughs> no offense, to, no no offense to the ballet, uh, but the Vatican is one sick puppy. No offense to puppies, yeah. But anyways, no demonic as you can get. The greatest, the biggest, the most corrupt, demonic, devilish, wicked, satanic, Luciferian organization on the earth is the Vatican. That con that controls the new world order on the planet in all its phases, yeah, in all its forms. Very 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 interesting article. Uh, of course, they say, well, you know, uh, they never tell you exactly who, you know, who's been using it or, or if they're going to be using it or have been using it. But there it is. There it is. Uh, hiding in plain sight. I don't, I don't even think it's hiding anymore. And, and if we don't pay attention to this, then we will miss out on the exact timing where, where we are on God's timeline. Where are we, Bob? <laughs> We're right there at the sliver of time, just before Jesus Christ returned to the earth. Yeah, this the Bible calls it the end times, the last days. And this information is right before our very eyes. If we're paying attention, watch and pray, Jesus said, so nobody nobody deceives you. Which I think is very interesting because I talk about, I just mentioned that, but Matthew 24, 4, just before all these verses, Jesus told them, Don't let anyone mislead you. Oh, deception would be. Uh, in full swing in the last days. But the Lord allowed this technology called the Internet for, for us to be available on the earth so that we could find out about, that. Find, find out about these things and say, hey, uh, I know it's going on. I know what time it is. What time is it? It's uh, time to get ready. If you're not born again, spirit field, you're going to be screwed when the Great Tribulation ha happens. Well, you get... Your head beat in by the force of darkness every day anyways, even if you know it or not. But when Jesus returns and takes the born-again, spirit-filled people to heaven for a great banquet, the great tribulation will hit the earth. As a result of that, and 40-ish months, 42 months of hell on the earth, Jesus will then come back after that to save the earth from total chaos. Yeah. Jesus said if he doesn't return and save the earth, there, nobody would be saved. Nobody would, would be uh, kept alive, yeah. So thank you, Jesus, for helping this planet past, present, and future. Listen, if you're not born again, not spirit-filled, it's time to get born again spirit-filled. That, that means having your sins washed away in the name of Jesus. Not religion. Jesus washed my sins away, filled with your Holy Spirit. 
Get in the Bible, read it, and do it. Then watch my videos to learn how to go forward and not backwards. Yeah. Be the head, not the tail. Learn. We don't have much time left. The days are numbered. This stuff is coming to pass right before our very eyes. Uh, Christians, born-again spiritual Christians, should be the smartest people on the earth. If they're not, then they've just been playing uh, religious, playing church. Religious games, church, circuses, yeah. you got to have the power of the Holy Spirit. You need to be devoted to Jesus and not religion, not a building, not an organization. Jesus, I tell people all, all, every day, run from all religion and run to Jesus. You don't have to join a religion. You don't have to join a building. You don't have to join an organization. You need to join Jesus himself. You and Jesus. <laughs> the rest contaminates people. All right? DarylLawson.com is my website. Go there. See this information that I'm talking about. Uh, pass this video on to other people. I do posting 24-7 of, ar uh, of articles like this and information uh, when I find it. And people send me information all the time and I try to post it on all different kind of social media outlets. Facebook, Google, Twitter, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Day and night. Instagram even. Yeah, I have Bible verses of the day. We have no excuse. If we don't know what's going on and we're not ready, it's our own fault. All right? Don't be, don't be that guy. Don't be that woman, right? Yeah. All right. Daryl Lawson Live signing up. I'm out of here. Thanks for your prayers and financial support. I do have a donation button on my website to help me do what I'm doing and go forward. Tithing and giving is of God. All right. Malachi chapter 3, verses 8 to 12. I thank you in advance. I will see you later in my next show. I'll see you online. DarylLawson.com. God bless you. Bye for now.